we just got home from the gym trying to get back on our fitness my face is much wider than my body i know because i put sunscreen on my face every day i never let it see the actual sun and then i haven't put any face tanner on this week um i normally just like mix some drops into my moisturizer because i'm getting my eyebrows what's it called where they like stick them up laminated is that what they call it? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. I can't think right now. So I'm getting my brows laminated this week though and waxed and it like messes with the color if I put like tan on my face. So that's what's going on. That's just a random little update. I'm about to shower and get ready and we're gonna do some like home updates around the house today. A couple of pieces that we ordered like decor things. We're gonna put down and see how they look. Clayton has a couple of honeydews and yeah that's what's going on okay we're gonna do something fun today for a little haul with nasty gal so obviously i love nasty gal you guys do too i'm excited to partner up with them on today's video and i will link everything in this little haul in the description box you guys can shop it all there and i wanted to play with some colors because obviously 2021 has been like a huge year of color so many people including myself like didn't really dabble in color before and now it's just like taste the freaking rainbow so today i'm gonna do some like color blocking with some nasty gal pieces which is something that i've played around with a bit before but i want to dive in more because i feel like it's a really fun trend and i love the way it looks and i love the way it like feels to wear color blocking but i haven't fully tried it out enough so i got some really good like solid color pieces and then some like neutrals too to mix in there um and i'm just gonna do a fun little styling haul with you guys okie dokie the first outfit is what i have on i am going to on these shoes real quick okay one thing i have noticed lately is i want some more colorful shoes because i feel like shoes and bags are probably my favorite way to incorporate color if i'm not doing like a full color look and i just want some like subtle kind of fun pops um i love doing it that way rather than like a pop in clothing but even for colorful looks i love having a bunch of different options for actual colors in shoes and bags so i feel like you can get use out of them with neutral outfits using them as a pop and then also just using them like already in a colorful outfit so for starters i'm just doing like a little denim look and then this tube top which i don't really wear tube tops anymore i used to wear them when I was in like middle school and high school, I thought they were the coolest thing ever. Haven't worn too many of them in recent years, but I love that kind of like Y2K 90s vibe obviously right now. So paired this like bright orange one with just a lower rise kind of baggy pair of denim, super laid back. And then trucker hats are all also really fun and I feel like it makes a look a little more street style which i appreciate so i think this would be really cute with sneakers too but i want to dress it up with some heels so i have these bright pink heels and then i have a yellow handbag here so i'm actually obsessed with this look i don't know exactly where i'd wear it i feel like it's not dressed up but it's also not casual probably mostly because i'm wearing heels so if i wasn't wearing heels it would be very casual but i feel like i could wear this to I don't know just like a casual dinner out or some kind of summer event maybe like a i don't know i don't know exactly what i have in mind for this but i just like it i feel like it's a nice mashup of things like of casual and dressy but kind of funky still so i love her okay next i just 
swapped out my top for this like berry colored high neck top so back a little so you guys can see it i still have the pink shoes on and the same denim and i love this top because i feel like it's really easy to kind of do the same thing that i was doing with the other outfit but this is a little bit chicer and more dressed up i love something that's high neck i think it's really flattering and just elegant i would probably do my hair up with this outfit like i could just go do it for real really fast but I'm going to. Yeah, just like with slacks or with denim, I love kind of just like a high neck top like this. The back is like a low back and open and it's adjustable. Like you just tie it as tight as you need, which I love. And I love this like berry color. I feel like this is a good transitional color going into fall because it's still colorful, but it's a little more muted and like gem tone than some of the brighter like springy summery tones okay next up we have this pink set oh my god this color is like such a nice color i'm obsessed with this it's kind of like a very bright pigmented bubblegum pink like it's just it skews a little tiny bit on like the purple side i think it's like a barbie color it's just really freaking cute even though i didn't like barbies growing up i'm obsessed with this color so what did i have this oh yeah okay so this set is like a perfect kind of starting point for a color blocking outfit because it's such a good color and i like that it's solid i feel like that's really good for color blocking as well so i picked up this purple kind of like satiny silky over shirt because i think that this would be great with color blocking outfits like this and i also think that it's really nice for denim and i might have got it long enough that i could wear it as a dress no i couldn't get away with this as a dress but that's okay okay so just like pop this on over the top and i love this like deeper gem tone tim can't talk with this really vibrant pink i just literally can't talk so then like I'm saying, another pop of color with the bag is so good. So I have a blue one, which I felt went nicely with this. I don't have blue shoes, which is what I'm saying. I want more pops of color in my shoes. Like I need a blue pair of shoes. Like a, I just want every color pair of shoes, basically the rainbow. So when I don't have like a pop of color, I think black or like a cream or a white is a good option. So I have these square toe heels, which I love a square toe. My toes are bright green right now, so it's perfect. Okay, so this is the final look. I just love the bright, bold colors together and how everything is just solid. I feel like it makes it pop really good for color blocking. Um, I also love like mix and match patterns and everything. That's been huge this year, and I've had so much fun with that, but I haven't done enough like solid color blocking, so here's a good start. And then we're going to do some more perfect little color blocking with these colors so this bralette is actually part of a set with that silky satiny shirt the purple one and then this pantsuit is also like an incredible color i'm obsessed with this color like just as a color by itself i love this color it's kind of like a neon reddish orange i would say like it's just a gorgeous powerful color and I think with purple it's really really fun I got to size two in this I'm 5'4 and I would say it's quite long on me like I will have to get this hemmed but it doesn't bug oh my gosh oh it's not a bug can't tell I feel like I think I see a bug every time I talk to the vlog which is just very telling of who I am I just always think I'm seeing a bug okay but yes these are a bit too long for me so i will get them hemmed and i'm 5'4 so i'm on the shorter side it's pretty standard but it's good for the taller girls that you would be able to fit in them and back to what i was saying about like the shoes and accessories i think there's enough color and pigment going on here with this one that i don't really want a color i mean actually purple heels would be really cute with this but i love like a pop of white with this color blocking too so i'm doing white um pumps and then with the white pumps like just pretend these aren't too long for me 
then my shoes are showing a white bag it's just like a perfect pop and i also think that this looks cute clothes like you don't even have to wear this bralette under it could just be like an orange moment and it's so good it's so powerful and bold and fun all at the same time i also love this because you can wear them as separate so this cropped blazer with like light wash mom jeans i feel would be really cute with the white heels still or if you want to wear these slacks with like a bodysuit or a cropped t-shirt or something even i think that's really fun I quickly wanted to share this blazer too. It's kind of like the same idea. It's just like a little cropped blazer. I'm pretty sure this is from their vintage line like that they reconstructed for a new piece and I'm super obsessed with this. I think that this looks good with this color and even with the heels and everything. Just like a little safer, a little more neutral on top and I think this navy complements this orange color really well. Um, I don't have a bra on or anything, so I'm kind of just like trying to keep everything in for you guys. But if I wore this out, I'd wear a bra with it. And I think this looks really cute with denim too. So if you wanted to wear this with like the high-waisted mom jeans and a light wash with white pumps, I think that would be really cute too. So very versatile piece actually, and I like how it's masculine because it's boxy, but it's feminine because it's cropped. Okay, this is the last outfit that I have for you guys, and it's honestly so cute. I'm obsessed with this. So this is a little bit of what I was talking about, mixing like neutrals or blacks and whites with the color blocking as well. So these pants are denim, and they're two-toned in some really cute pink hues. And I feel like they kind of already had a lot going on because they are color blocked themselves. So I went ahead and paired it with just like black staple pieces, but this top does have a little bit of flair too. So I love what's going on here that these pants are like a little bit loose on me, a little bit big, kind of like a baggier fit. I think I got them in a US 2. And I love that mixed with like a tighter, smaller piece on top. So this crop top, I got this in a size zero and I do think I should have gone up. It's just like a little, like it's just, it could just like, you know, pop open on me. I like lifted my arms up over my head or something. So I am fuller chested. I'm like a 32 double D. So I should have gone up in this. I mean, I'm normally... I normally go down in sizes and crop tops because I want them to be short enough, but this one is more of like a booby situation, so I should have done more of like my true size, but that's okay. And then I just tied it in with black booties on the bottom, so this is a really good like transitional outfit for early fall, I think, and these are just really fun like to pair with an oversized graphic tee too or any kind of crop tops, bodysuits. I just love this and the split hem is cute as well so that is it for this little like color blocking excursion with you guys hopefully you enjoyed it i'll leave everything in the description box for you to shop there and yeah let me know if there's any other little like random niches in trends that you want to have mini styling sessions like this with all right so now that we're home for a couple weeks week and a half. I want to get uh, some house projects done that we've been kind of sitting on. So if you guys remember, we did this electrical tape look on these windows to see one, how we'd like it. Um, and we really, really liked it. We loved it. So we decided to actually buy the real deal. So you can buy what they call window mullions. And uh, so what I got is metal mullions that are going to go in the window on both sides. And they will be more permanent than the tape that I'm ripping off. So, oh goodness, oh gosh, I hope that comes off. Okay, I'm gonna need some goo off to get that going. But yeah, so they're gonna look a lot nicer and be more permanent. They're gonna fit better, like my tape, it started to shrink from the heat and stuff. So now there's like gaps on the side. Even look at this one, that's kind of crazy. Big gap, it used to stretch the whole distance. So they'll go on the inside. And on the outside, like right now, you were able to see from the back, it didn't look that good. I'm gonna do that today. And then uh, I got a new rug. If you guys watched Delaney's uh, 
fashion video from last Friday. You saw it. It's that checkered one. I'm gonna put that down. Oh no, I'm really concerned though that this is gonna be a pain in the, to get off. No, no, no. It's been super easy. I just want to show you guys how this works. Um, so they come with double-sided tape already on them. Everything is already like pre-mitered is what they call it. So the you don't have to measure out like where to put each bar. It's already in there. So if you uh, want to do a window and you want it on both sides like we did, there's no like having to double check like measurements or making sure that you're lining up because they're all cut the same way. They come from the factory and out of the machine like this. So this one has it all done for you. And then these crossbars just fit in uh, like this. So it's actually really easy. I'd say uh, these first two windows have taken me maybe 20 minutes a piece, 15 minutes a piece, but it's not like hard. It's just uh, getting everything together and then just taking off the tape. So you like put it in the window remove the back side and stick it on there. So super easy and it, it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna wrap this up here and then bring down Delaney and show her. Close your eyes. Okay. Big go. grand reveal. Don't let me run into anything. I'm not gonna let you run into anything. Big grand reveal. Are you excited? <laughs> yes. Does it look different than the tape? Does it? Of course. <laughs> I know. It's but pretty like... similar. <laughs> <Right. laughs> but it looks a little bit different. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Wow. What do you think? It looks nice. Can I get? Wow. So is this metal? It's metal, yeah. And is it like plastic or is it all No metal? plastic, just metal. It's all metal? Yeah. Aluminum. This part seems a little softer than the middle part. Hmm. You know? Same thing. Looks good. Looks good, right? I think it turned out so nice. Was it easy? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I love it. And there's some on the outside? Yeah. Here you go out there. Wow. Good job. It really changes it. It's nice to have them on the outside, too. Yeah, because the tape looks really bad that way. Makes it official. You know? Yeah. Because we, we never put the tape on the outside, no. huh? No. Oh, it's so good, babe. Good job. Thank you. My little handyman. I'm a handyman. Looks so good. Project one completed. All right, today's MVP was definitely goo gone. The other day, where is it? Oh, goo gone. Where did I put the goo gone? There it is. Okay, so I used the goo gone to get off the residue from the old uh, tape. This stuff is a lifesaver. If you guys have never used this, it's so good at getting, like even if you buy a something for your kitchen or whatever and they have the sticker on it. Like glasses sometimes have all those stickers on it and it's really hard to get them off. You can soak them in hot water with a little soap or a little Goo Gone will get that off like that. 
Hello. Okay. Everybody on the vlog loves when I drive because I don't normally drive, so say treat for your eyes. I'm actually going to get my brows laminated, which I haven't done in a little while. Last time I went, I actually went like too um, too soon, and it kind of like messed up my brows because you're not supposed to do it. Um, like too often because it's basically like perming your brow hair it's kind of intense on the hair so it kind of like messed up my brows not really but I just had to take a breather so I'm excited to go get it done because I feel like it is literally one of the most life-changing beauty hacks that I've ever done. Like, brows have always been a super important part of my makeup routine to me because my brows are naturally pretty light and I like really dark, bold brows. I always have, like, since I was little. So, I've always been, like, doing things to make my brows look bolder and darker, but it's a lot to keep up with on a day-to-day -day basis, so. I did get my brows microbladed a couple of years ago and I really liked that too because it just made them look fuller and thicker, which I love. It's faded like quite a lot. I feel like I barely have any of the microblading left, but the laminating really helps just make your brows look like fluffy and put together and I love the bushy look it creates. And then I also get my brows tinted when I do this so they make them darker, which I just live for. So, yeah, that's what's, that's what's about to go down on my face. And the place that I go to is called Bronzed, whoa, it's called Bronzed Bunny. And they're super sweet. That's the only place I've ever got my brows laminated, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm just going to pop in there and I'll show you guys a little bit about the process. I feel like the actual process isn't that fun to watch, it's just like putting some products on the brows and then some saran wrap actually over them but I'll just give you like a good before and after so you can see what happens also my makeup is like kind of wonky right now messed up mm -hmm. all right I'm about to go in and they're gonna take my makeup off of my brows so I'm gonna look really crazy after this and my makeup is already messed up because I'm wearing a hat earlier today but I do have my brows filled in right now just with some pomade and some gel so this is kind of a before they're nothing to write home about but just wait till after oh and yes i'm still wearing a mask just to be careful for myself and others i honestly think it's like one of the easiest things i've ever had to do or like i've ever chosen to do what either way you want to look at it wearing a mask is literally so easy for me i'm in absolutely no pain from this and i don't want to hear anything in the comments about you not liking me wearing a mask so if you have something to say about that i like literally don't care okay all right i'm the worst um i actually forgot to vlog while i was in there so i was just like chatting with the girls and since i was like laying down it was kind of hard to hold up the cam and here's the reveal just kidding it's just a terrible angle with the camera it's funny with the steering wheel okay so i'm just gonna leave it there it'll be a terrible terrible vlogger part 7000 okay there's like a guy staring at me in his car yeah so I look like really weird right now because the uh, like wax and everything pulled off my makeup and the sliding is doing me absolutely no favors but let's do a zoom okay so yeah looks weird because my makeup but oh, look how good I changed the shape a little and did them a little straighter, like took my arch out a bit. So I really like that. And I'll do like a better reveal of this when I don't look so crazy, but I'm very happy. We are gonna do some decor updates <laughs> in Clayton's office slash the guest bedroom. I bought this rug from Urban Outfitters. 
and I have used it for some fashion videos and I posted it on my story and you guys were obsessed with it. So we got it for this room and I feel like it's just a nice kind of like neutral but funky piece still. So this room is kind of unique I feel for our house and it's neutral but it's got like a lot of mixes of styles in it. So I think that this is a good addition this rug also comes in multiple sizes and it comes in like a rust kind of brown color instead of the black it's really cute and i got this in a five by seven i believe so i'm gonna kind of let's see where should i put you guys so you can see what's going on okay see the the tones look good so i think we're gonna kind of put it like half under the bed because the bed is in the corner and this is a pretty small room so I think we're just gonna put the rug, I don't know like, actually what the plan is here. Hey, Clayton. Okay. How should we do this rug? What are you thinking? I think it should go like under the bed. Yeah. Kind of just like a little bit in the middle of the room, but a little bit to the, this way too. Yeah. So can you pick up the bed and all mm -hmm. push this under? Don't drop it on. I won't. I kind of think it needs to go like that, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Does it need to go the other way? Yeah, it could, and then it would be. Like maybe we go the other way? Yeah. And so then it's all the whole way in. Right. Anyway. Okay, let's try that maybe. Give you guys another angle. I'll go low for you. Okay. Let's try Round that. two. You should go all the way to the wall on this side. Okay, hold on. I'll come do that. Well, then the door doesn't close is the problem. Oh, shoot. Unless we scooted it back more. Okay. Do you want me to scoot it back more? Yeah, try that. You stand off of this. Might slip. Wait, don't drop this, okay? At that much... That's it's just right. like the room, yeah, it's the room that's hard. So this is what we're working with. I don't like the I think that looks that, it's like a stripe. Yeah, that looks weird. So I think at this point, it should just we be... We can't pull it out more. No, it should be it. all the way under at the foot. And then I think it can come out this way more. Like I'd say it can come out to about here. Okay, just pick the bed up again, because I think maybe it should just all come this way a little bit. Which way? This way. Oh. This way. I'm just gonna try. I'm thinking it should go that way. Only. And, and that way. Yeah. Like up against yeah. the. Okay, let's try both. Okay, try both. I think so. You can't stand on this. I'm trying my way first. Yeah. Okay. So do you just put it down now? Yeah. It's a little weird. Still a little weird. I think, let's try my way. Because it's just a little abstract when it only comes out of one end. Because then it's like, is that a runner? Like, you can't tell. Can you take this out though again? Option, Still? yeah. Okay, so Option C, after all of these, is going to be to put even the coffee table or the side table on top of it a little bit. The only problem that I have with that is like, it's all right there. And like, you have to be like in the room over there to appreciate it at all. Let me just try pulling it out my way. Okay. You're, right. You're gonna have to keep your toes out. Cause Pull I'm... it out and then I'll step over. That's a little too much. It does, like we only need the door to close when we have guests. And like it would close, like they're not gonna be like, oh my God, I can't close the door. So the only thing that I feel weird is, I mean, I feel like this is a weird kit. Yeah, up here. I don't know. I think it might have been better the other way. That kind of was originally. 
yeah. the very first way. Yeah. That's hard. I mean, this isn't Fine. look bad though. Oh, it yeah. doesn't look bad, but it's just like, it seems too skinny. Like it should be like over right. here still. Right, that's what I'm saying. We could order a bigger rug. How about the other sizes? It just gets too big. Can I see your phone? It, it probably gets too big, you know? This is five by seven. What if it was like seven by nine? It's too big. I think that's too big. So I'd have it come out as far as the side of the coffee table. Is that what we said? Oh, that'd be so skinny. Oh, you want to go out further? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, further. So, but then you want it under the coffee table? Or no, because no, I think we want it. Well, is it up against the coffee table? Yeah. Right, yeah. It is? Yeah. Yeah, that's about where you want it. Okay. You're good, man. I think that's, it. that's how it has to be. Yeah. It looks good. Mm hmm. It's yeah. still just like a little weird. You know, because it's like, they're just like, it feels like there should be more right here now. That's the door. If the door, if this room was three foot longer, yeah, this could go underneath the, like right. how we had it. You know what I mean? And then it would probably be how we like it. But it, the room's not that big. Okay, well I want to see like, if everything is tidied if it's better. Tiny vibes. Like, because I feel like it's hard to judge when it's best. What would we put over here though if we got rid of mine? A mirror. Just a mirror? A full length mirror. Should we see what it looks like? Should we? Does the tidy vibe help you at all? Yeah. Does it help you? Yeah, does it look better? Yeah. We're gonna have a nice day. You wanna give me your office? Hey, gentle. Wait, what'd you say? You wanna give me your office? Yeah. Well, you can't. We can share it. I can't I have it. Then I want that one, so we have to share it. I don't know that's like the negative space. No, you don't have enough room over there. Or there's not enough stuff. We've removed my desk. We're going, we're going all out. We're going AWOL. So all of a sudden we're just gonna spend the next two hours rearranging. This is all her idea. It's all her idea. Hour later, rug, mirror. The thing is this room has just like always been a freaking headache. It's so hard to like correctly design. This looks pretty nice. There is just like a lot of negative space over there. But then it's like if you put another little like thing right here, then it's like why do you have so many things? Yeah. So you either have to choose to have way too many or like not enough. Like not enough is better. You could, could you put another chair there? Like the same kind? Or that's weird. That might be weird. No, I don't think there's you could do a different size chair over there though. We need to get a different mirror, but... I actually don't hate that mirror though. I mean, it's nice. You got a lot of room right here. Mm -hmm. I can see you like trying stuff on. Like what I almost think we do... Yeah, this is a good styling room for me. I feel like we got to do something in this area for like clothes or like extra little storage or something mm -hmm. to make it a little bit more closety like this is almost now a closet styling bedroom right you know so what i mean what do you want to do i don't know what it is but maybe it's like i feel like the full length mirror is important but i was going to say you could do like a dresser, or dresser half half mirror but then i think the full length is important mm -hmm. the only thing is when you do that too it just becomes like a lot of, it's like it's like having the desk back there Right, exactly, exactly. So like, I think it's kind of nice like this. Spacious. Do we sit on it for like a, yeah. a week? Yeah, I think we sit on it. And I mean, if yeah, this if this was nice. tidied, if you didn't have 15,000 pairs of shoes, 15,000. Well, you can remove your two to help. My two pairs of shoes. <laughs> that would one look a lot nicer, mm -hmm. prettier. Yeah. Then do it, baby. Design wise, it's really nice functionality it is still good for like 
styling and maybe like try on holes and stuff right here. Which is cute. Oddly enough, I feel like this chair ain't it. Really? Mm-hmm. You want a different chair? Like I think it should be more of a relaxed chair. It seems like form like this this room is giving me very loungy mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. We have this like yeah. Loungy what we rug. Could do is we, we have could this try low bed that's just very like cushiony. Cushiony. All right, so this is where we're at. We're gonna sit on it for a week or so. We have so many house things we still want to do. So tell us if you like seeing little like home updates and decor things in the vlogs. We could do more of it because a lot yeah. of the stuff we just actually did like not on the vlog because we were just not thinking about it. But if you guys like seeing this type of content, let us know and we can share more. In there again. Tofu, chop some kale. This is the best cutting board. Nice and heavy duty. Back to cooking. I mean, I feel like we've been out of town, out of the house for sure, mm -hmm. for like a month. Well, we haven't been that good at like prioritizing. Alexa, stop. Oh, here we go. Watch out, boy. I stabbed myself with this knife last night. Um, we haven't been that good on accident about prioritizing, like making venues and going grocery shopping cooking. and then actually cooking. Like it's so easy to come up with an excuse why we shouldn't cook, and we just do that all the time, even though we could cook. <laughs> Literally to. for the last two months, I'd say. So well, the last month we were like, pretty much out of town. So now we're trying to. Like, hold ourselves more accountable and be like, no, you need to cook tonight. Yep. So we're back on it. This is our second night cooking. Yeah, it's um, the second night of the week. You like this onion long, don't you? Uh, yeah. The onion is probably lowest priority right now. So like tonight, we're going out to shoot at sunset. We're yeah. basically going out to shoot at sunset every night lately, which makes it just the worst timing ever for cooking or going out to dinner. It's just like spending the eight o'clock hour shooting. But we don't like to eat like early, so. Yeah, we don't like eating early. Yeah. We're not those five o'clock people. So we haven't shot yet, but we're just gonna like prep the stuff for dinner. So when we come home from shooting, it's ready for us to make. It's our current uh, strategy. <laughs> Okay, we're making it happen. Y'all. We are making it happen. Hey, do you wanna talk about stuff? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm hmm Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm down. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Let's take the vlog. We are gonna sit down over here and just have a little life chat. You look cute. You look cute. Cute sweatshirt. Thanks. Did you design that? Yes. What's that? It's a work. All my clothes are dirty. They all end up dirty. Always dirty. Yep, what do you eat? Tofu? Yeah. So, we wanted to just talk about, like, do a little mental health check-in and just have, like, a real life chat because obviously social media in general can be kind of like a highlight reel and we get a lot of comments like, oh, I, I wish I was you or your life seems perfect or things like that sometimes. And obviously any youtuber blogger influencer whatever you want to call them or person anybody right, right everybody also has things going on in their lives at all times and we just kind of after a couple of like hard moments realized that over the past couple of months we've had like a hard time managing all of our emotions, emotions and stress and, and like bouncing all of our like relationships and I'm just you guys a little bit closer. Yeah, and we so we've just realized like it the past couple of months like the things that we've been doing 
have taken a toll on our mental health yeah. and we just kind of wanted to like chat about that just to obviously like share what's going on in our lives because that's a part of our YouTube channel yeah. but also just to kind of normalize talking about right. emotions and feelings and and I mean it's last couple months but I mean I think tail end of the pandemic and everything you right. know, we've just been kind of feeling it and like just right. like everything some days are better than others and weeks and months are better than others but yeah like sometimes it just doesn't really present itself to you until it like hits yeah. you in the face and then you're just like oh my gosh i haven't been like keeping up on my mental health as much as i would have liked and now all of a sudden i'm just like in a bad headspace yeah. or you know however it happens and whenever it happens but i think for us it's just been a lot kind of like navigating through the pandemic like it has been for literally every single mm -hmm. person everybody has different things that they had to deal with during that time right. and i'm not saying that anyone's struggles are less than ours or anything right. like that but um yeah. we definitely did just like have some really hard moments during that in our personal lives and then now that things have been getting better in that regard that's great and we've just been kind of having like a funky time reintegrating yeah. into the world still which we've talked about before on our channel but it's still like our reality yeah it's still reality so we just want to be real about that yeah. and starting a business obviously a lot of added stress and responsibility and stuff like that which right. is just taking a toll on us and you know put us in a place where you know we just have a lot to think about and a lot of things that we're responsible for adulting. and it's like as a couple yeah it's adulting i mean it's like we had a baby and now we're you know trying to figure out how to right. always take care of it so and, and it's ourselves. like a relationship too so it's like a new chapter in our relationship so together we're trying to learn how to be even we were already business partners but now it's like this is like more of a normal style of business yeah that we're now trying to be business owners and our what is it business uh partners business partners business partners, business yeah. partners together while also maintaining and managing a relationship and right. making sure we're both staying sane and right everything else yeah so and like we wanted to talk about it not m more so because we want to like fill you in on every detail of our lives no because that's just like not applicable, but we just wanted to more so share like that we go through things too yeah. and just yeah. like a general chat about mental health and like checking in on you guys, sharing what we're going through or where we're standing yeah. with mental health. And, where, and what we're doing to help make our mental health better and actions that we're trying to take to make it better to help anybody that's going through it to make sure that you guys feel okay doing the things that you need to do for your mental health right so so i've been kind of like going through it since like january and so i actually went to therapy for my first time in january was it mm -hmm. <laughs> she's so happy <laughs> I'm proud of delaney's you. been going to therapy for a long time right um throughout her life yeah the I, first time i went to therapy i think i was like seven or eight years old yeah and my yeah. mom is a psychologist, yeah. so I feel like it's definitely more normalized in my upbringing anyways. Yeah. But yeah, just like going through a divorce with my parents, I needed a lot of therapy after that. Yeah. And then in high school, like went through some stuff, needed therapy. And then um, after college, I was feeling a little bit lost and went to some therapy for just like some general soul searching and figuring it out. And that was like the least traumatic therapy for me and like the most chill therapy like I didn't really have anything super heavy going on I was just kind of like floating around and I used therapy at that time as just like a really gentle helpful guidance yeah. so there's like so many different ways to go to therapy and to for look sure. at it and I think that therapy is literally a good idea for anyone at any time so if you feel like compelled to do that i'm mm -hmm. so happy for you and proud of you and like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really proud of you and yeah so she obviously pushed me in the direction and you know made me feel comfortable with going to therapy even though it's not something that we should ever feel uncomfortable about right. it's, it's hard to start but once you do it like i was very comfortable doing it and i went to therapy for like three months 
and then our life started picking back up again and yeah. it was hard to schedule my appointments so Scheduled I fell crazy. off and well you were doing better too yeah like, not and yeah therapy did really help like just you know really kind helped. of like hammer out the things that you were struggling with yeah. so our life started getting crazy schedule was getting hard to do the therapy and you were feeling better, and i was doing so you good like, i was doing really good so you I, know what I, it's fine yeah i told my therapist like hey like i'm feeling really good right now like thank you so much let's like, take a break let's just take a little break because our life's getting crazy right that was like end of april pretty much so right when we were starting to pick up everything else um and then like everything you know has been pretty good but lately again like you said like over the last month or two months or so it's just something's been a little off so i'm deciding to go back to therapy which is like it's nothing like everybody thinks it's so like it's like taboo to talk about almost but it's like but it's not it's not I, it's just like saying like i'm going to see my doctor or right. i'm going to my personal trainer again or like i'm or, going to yoga or, yeah, or i'm going to yoga again or i'm going to start doing pilates again like yeah, these like are all really those are all physical things that are are good things that are for your physical part of your body right mm -hmm. and then like therapy is the thing for your brain so yeah it's like your the, heart and yeah yeah your it's soul so, so it's so normal and it's so cool to go to therapy yeah. and it's so helpful yeah so like why wouldn't you and yeah. i'm proud of you for doing that and i'm excited and happy for you to have another resource because also as a partner there's only so much you can do to like be there for your partner mm -hmm. i do everything that i can i want to be there for you in every way but sometimes it's helpful to have somebody else the who's outsider. a trained professional yeah. who you know is unbiased and there's just there's so many good facets to going to therapy oh, and they have so. techniques and you know everything and it's just like a place to vent almost and a place to learn about yourself and exactly i think my my therapist once told me he's like my job is to reflect yourself back to you so you can see yourself mm -hmm. clear and That's like cool. understand who you are yeah so like it's cool so yeah. it's cool it's normal it's rad it's kind of fun it's awesome. i mean like my sessions have fun. been fun like it's yeah it's so learn. good for you yeah it's so good no matter what the things you're working through are because they can range so much and be like really heavy and really difficult right or, right even if they're not really heavy or difficult it's still really helpful to have somebody like there for that so we just kind of wanted to have a check-in let you guys know that everything in our life is not perfect and right. it's not perfect in anyone else's life either um we do enjoy sharing the highs in our life with you guys and we do try to share the lows as well while still maintaining like some privacy and intimacy mm -hmm. um but yeah we just want to reiterate that like we go through things we have hard months we have hard times in life yeah. and also just normalize the conversation around therapy, therapy or doing health. yeah doing anything to help your mental health just discussing your mental health and like especially too for guys i feel like it's really cool that you're like openly sharing this and talking about this because there's even more of a stigma around like for masculinity guys feelings and yeah. emotions yeah yeah we've talked to a lot of our guy friends and they always bring up like from like the small towns that they're from and stuff that like for guys emotions and feelings are just things that are not discussed ever where like you girls always have your little powwows and stuff and talk about the boys and feel like girl like guys it's not the same really so, you, know, like, you want to come? Yeah. You want to oh, come so, to the rendezvous? So, so my feelings today. You definitely want to go to that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say that. Yeah. yeah. No. So, so it's good. Just an update, a life chat. We're yeah. going through shit. So is everybody else. We're <laughs> going through shit. <laughs> uh, but it's true. And but the, the good thing is try to laugh. Smile, talk about it. Talk about it. Do things that help. Go to therapy. Go to therapy. Know that you're not alone. Yeah. Even the people who you think are the happiest and have their life the most figured out still deal with stuff. So. Yeah. So always remember that. Yeah. And just be there for the people that you love, and check in on their mental health. She's a real good partner. She's a real one. She's a real one. <laughs> Taco night. Damn.